it's Hunter and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, it is so nice to meet you. Today I am literally so excited to be filming the video that I am filming today. I'm gonna be organizing my bookshelf. Okay, so long story short, I just moved into a new house and I bought two Billy bookcases from Ikea a couple of months ago. They've been sitting in my house, my old house, just waiting to be put up. I wanted to buy them when they were in stock because they're constantly out of stock. So I just set up an alert to buy them when they were in stock. And now I have these two beautiful bookshelves. I have already taken all of my books out of the boxes that they were in to move them into this house, but I just put them up randomly to get the boxes out of this room. So now I am planning to organize them and I'm so excited because I've been waiting to do this for so long. It feels like I've been waiting for so long. So this is what we have so far. There is this first one and it's full. And then we have this one that's like notebooks and just like random decor items here. And then more books up there. So I'm just super pumped to get started putting this together. So if you guys are new to my channel, I'd love if you guys would subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And now let's just go ahead and get started because I feel like this is gonna take forever. <laughs> okay, sitting in a chair right now so that I can kind of explain how I want to do this. So I thought I was just going to do it completely in alphabetical order by author last name, but now I'm thinking I wanna do it by genre. I am planning, the, basically here's, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do romance, thriller, and then like contemporary fiction slash just like all the other fiction. So romance and thriller as two separate genres and then everything else even if it falls under like a different category. So like contemporary fiction, young adult fiction, um, and things like that all in one. I may have to look up genres for certain books because I don't know 100%. And then I'm gonna do each genre in alphabetical order by author last name. And if it's a series of books, I'm gonna put the series in order. So I'm looking at this right now. Karen Slaughter has two series where I have a bunch of her books. She has the Grant County series and the Will Trent series. So I'm gonna do Grant County and then Will Trent, but I'm gonna do them like in series order I guess. So that's what the plan is. So I'm just gonna start pulling books so that I can put them in their respective piles and then I also have some nonfiction books that I'm going to sort through as well. sorted by genre now. My opinion on some books genres will most likely change over time. But for now, this is where I have them. Forever Interrupted is definitely a romance, but I don't feel like Malibu Rising is. So <laughs> I'm keeping it here because of this. So these are what I'm calling general fiction. What's left may not actually be the case, but we'll see. I'll, I'll figure it out. Those are the nonfiction books. These are the thrillers. I have a lot more than I <laughs> realized. And then we have the romance books. So this is gonna be fun. <laughs> So now I need to take all of those and those off the shelf. I just want to clear both shelves off completely so that I can start from scratch. Okay, so my husband actually has some books in there on the bottom shelf. He took a lot of his books downstairs, but I'm going to organize his. I don't even know the genre or anything. I'm just going to do them alphabetical order by last name. And then I'll actually get to mine because his are going to stay on this bottom shelf because I do not want them on my other shelves. <laughs> and this one's like not seen as much as that one. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. So stay tuned. <laughs> okay, those are his books organized and then some of the these are right there as well. So now we start from the top. I think I'm gonna start with Thriller over here. Now I have to alphabetize these. Yay! Sorted into the first letter of the alphabet. So, oh good, the whole pile just fell over. <laughs> I guess we'll start here. Okay, the roller is 
sorted. It only took up three shelves. Um, so I have this one, which is a favorite of mine, The Night She Disappeared by Lisa Jewell. This is one of my faves, Local Woman Missing by Mary Kubica. And then I just thought that these were like all the same size, so it'd look cool to kind of vary up just the straight across books. So now on this shelf, I'm not really sure what I want to do. <laughs> For these who shelves, I'm thinking maybe the nonfiction because there's not that many of them and that's just two shelves and then I can do romance and other stuff here and like I can put decor in between those and stuff. Okay, so I have slightly sorted all of these. We have like Bibles, like literal Bibles. So this is the Gospel of John. This is uh CSB, uh, it's a version of HBSC, and then this is an NIV that has a bunch of notes in it. These are books about England, um, Lisa Turkhurst. These are gonna be like the, the one-off subject type of books that are Christian related. There we go, that's a little bit more sorted. So the one-off Christian related, and then we have Lisa Turkhurst. These are more Bible things, but they're actually like, it is the full word of God, but it is just Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. So this is the gospels. These are two random ones, um, and then those are Bible Bible studies. These are David Platt, Francis Chan. These are like memoir type books. And then these are photography related. These are the most random books. And then magazines. That one's Mason's, but then we have the Royals and Better Homes and Garden with Harry on it. That is what we're working with here. Wish me luck. Okay, update on this shelf. Thrillers, thrillers, thrillers. The, this is a picture of me and Mason. And then I have Bibles. So this is John and then these are the Gospels and then two regular Bibles. Bible studies from She Reads Truth and The Daily Grace and then a couple of books from Lisa Turkhurst, Francis Chan, and David Platt. And then down here, just a Mod Podge of stuff. England books with this book that I made of pictures from England. And then just a bunch of randomly there. And then Mason's on the bottom. That is the whole shelf and I'm a fan. Now we'll move to this shelf. Time to alphabetize. What's left? We'll do romance first. Okay, so I had planned to do romance and then general fiction or like historical fiction and then all the other fictions together. So like romance and then just the rest of the fiction books. But I decided I'm gonna do them all together because I feel like the covers go together better regular fiction but the thriller ones are just like really they are typically have like a similar vibe in colors and stuff like that so that's why I didn't want to put them together but now I have all the romance in at least according to the first letter so now I'm just going to continue adding all of the regular fiction to these piles this is the H pile you can't even see it <laughs> but I have all my piles here so I'm just gonna get back to it see you in a bit So we'll start with the A's. Okay, I think I am finished with the bookshelves. There are a few, I'll just show you. I'm gonna give you guys a tour really quickly of everything that I have, and then I will wrap up the video. I have no idea how long this battery is gonna last, so fingers crossed, because it has 6% left. But let's start with the thriller and nonfiction shelf. Obviously, I said it was gonna be in alphabetical order, so these are A, B, C, D, E, F, and then through G to Lisa Jewell, and then starting with the Good Girl's Guide to Murder series, Local Woman Missing, Jillian McMillan, Megan Miranda, Leanne Moriarty. Uh, for some reason, I have two of these, and then this was one I got as an ARC, um, and then I got some from Free Libraries, and then I've got all my Karen Slaughter books, which take up like this whole shelf. She's one of my fave thriller authors, if you can't tell. And then some more, I got some on clearance. Like I got this one on clearance at Books A Million. I thrifted this one. I got this one from a free library. I thrifted this one. Um, so many books. I'll go through all of them someday. And then I've already shown you all this, but just to give you guys another overview of that. And now we move on to this shelf. Um, let's see, we've got this one that I thrifted, Andre Osman, and then I've got Sarah Adams. She has a new book coming out soon in September, so I'll put that one on top here. The Spanish Love Deception. I left some room over here because I have pre-ordered The American Roommate Experiment. And then I've got Alan Ballard and Katie Birchall, Catherine Center, Sophie Cousins, Every Summer After. I really wanted to display this one, but I couldn't find a place for it. Heard It in the Love Song by Tracy Garvis Graves. I haven't read this yet, but I'm excited to. Publisher sent this of All the Lonely People by Mike Gale, Six Days in Rome. Uh, I've got my Darn Green books, Paper Towns, Turtles All the Way Down, The Fault in Our Stars, The Love Hypothesis, my Emily Henry books, some Elin Hildebrand, and I left room here so that if I need to move some of those down here, I can and just do some shifting. And then this is more or less a placeholder because I'm working on getting the entire collection of Colleen Hoover, but this is all I have so far. So when I move this, that'll probably be like four more books and then just more 
H's. Honestly, this shelf is like all my faves because there's Malibu Rising on here and then A Thousand Splendid Suns. I haven't read this one. I got this one from the publisher. I'm excited to read it. And then I thrifted this one. This, these are like my faves. Kevin Kwan is so funny. Um, then I have Christina Lauren, Beth O'Leary. I have the no show on display because the cover's really pretty. I haven't read it yet though. The Lost Apothecary, some Jodi Bacolt. These books from Zoe Sugg from years and years ago. House of Hollow, I'm excited to read that. Um, and then down here I've got Goldfinch. It's kind of a funny story, random things. Um, then I've got like a plant and then my nail stuff is down here. And that's also just room to grow. And then notebooks, more room to grow and picture frames to hang at some point. That's all of the shelves. So that is actually all I have for today's video. I'm very excited to have this all organized and I can't wait to get some new books on the shelf because I have Carrie Soto coming in the mail. So I left room on that shelf for that as well. Yeah, I just, I pre-ordered some books. So I'm really excited about having all of these on my shelf and having it all done. It feels organized and now I just feel complete in this respect. So that's all I have for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.